Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is export data grid view to Excel in C Sharp Windows Palm application. Start Microsoft Visual Studio 2015. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, create a new project. File new project. Select Windows and select Windows Form application. Select location. Just click on browse. Yes. Uh, select your location. My location is C uh, project. Yes. Uh, folder is C sharp con okay and the name of this application is export data grid to excel click on okay okay the application is created now resize this form go to the toolbox and the label control now i just uh, designed this form uh, to load data in data grid view and then export data from data grid view to excel okay uh, text of this level is export to Excel tutorial form. Okay, for color is button piece and the font size is 18. Okay, now change the back color of this form. Back color is yes. Now this is looking nice and the level uh, title level also displaying perfectly. This button control I will use to load data in data grid view. So, button back color is purple and for color is button face, font size is 12 and text is uh, default text is button 1. So, just change the text, text is load data. Okay, resize this button. Yes, now this is looking nice. Add a data grid view from the toolbox. Yes, this is the data grid view. Now go to the button click event. In this button click event, I write code to load data in data grid view. This is server explorer. Now add a connection. First of all, go to the SQL server to check the database, table, and records. Server name option PC, login SA, and password is SQL server authentication password. Yes, these are the database and my database name is uh, programming db table is product underscore setup underscore tab. Let's check the records. Yes, these are the records in the database table product area item name design and color. Okay, now right click and add connection in the data connection server explorer. Server name is Roshan PC. Yeah, authentication ask for authentication. Username SA and password is SQL Server Authentication Password. And then select the database. My database name is Programming DBs. Click on OK. Yes, it's added in the data connection. And uh, now show table data. Yes, the records displaying in the uh, table. OK, now first of all. Alright, SQL connection to connect uh, with the SQL server. So, SQL connection to use SQL connection, you should add namespace uh, using system.data.sql client. So, move the cursor and click on the light. That yes, SQL client is data.sql client is added now. Foot connection string to get the connection string, uh, just uh, right click on the database in the server explorer and click on property see that this is the connection string just double click to copy the connection string and paste it in the double quotation okay user id is sc okay but password is like star so you should put your sql server authentication password now sql command my sql command is to select records from the sql server database table to data grid view so sql command uh, command equal to new sql command select a star from student uh, sorry select star from product underscore setup underscore tab okay 
can see the table name in the left side in server explorer okay initialize the connection con c sql data adapter d equal to new sql data adapter command then data table data table dt equal to new data table finally fill the data in dt data table d dot fill dt then data grid view one data grid view one the data source equal to dt okay let's debug start debugging okay click the button to load data from sql server database to data grid view yes you can see the records displaying in the windows form for factory from the sql server database and now i'm gonna insert one more records uh, to display in the data grid view okay load data yes the records also displaying in the windows form for factory now add uh, one more button control to export data export the data grid view uh, to excel change the text of this button button text is export to excel okay now data object copy data equal to data grid view one dot get clipboard content if copy data not equal to null i mean if uh, the view have any records then it will execute okay clipboard dot set data object copy data okay you should add reference microsoft excel 15.0 object library so go to the solution explorer right click on the references click on add reference in the com in the com just select microsoft excel 15.0 object library okay this is microsoft excel you can see select microsoft excel 15.0 object library click on ok yes now you can use excel okay put microsoft dot office dot inner dot excel dot application equal to excel f equal to new microsoft dot office dot in a troop dot excel dot application okay now excel f dot visible equal to true okay now excel workbook so excel dot workbook excel w book okay w book microsoft dot office dot in a trove dot excel worksheet declare worksheet excel sheet okay now object missed data equal to system dot reflection dot missing dot value okay excel w book equal to xlf dot workbook dot add miss data okay now excel sheet equal to microsoft dot office dot in dot excel dot worksheet this is excel w book dot worksheets dot get item one okay microsoft data piece dot in dot excel dot range now declare range 
XLR Microsoft.Office.Netrof.Excel dot range excel sheet okay that cells one row index and column index xlr dot select finally excel sheet dot first special and then xlr then object link displays icon icon file name that all are uh, just uh, put as missing type dot missing type dot missing and the uh, type dot missing and then type dot missing finally not HTML format true okay now debug yes it's in debugging load data and export to excel click on export to excel yes it's exporting but it's uh, uh, export only the first cell value uh, because it's selected uh, only the first cell value so so i have to select all the all the records in the detected view so detected view under select all okay now debug load data export yes it's selecting and it's now uh, exported all the records from the data grid view successfully thanks for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos